All right, it's Mike McDonald time. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. Nice to be back, of course, to uh, Montreal. Thank you very much. I, uh, I, uh, you know, I, I, I simply, uh, I can't put it into words other than, you know, coming back to Canada always a pleasure. Uh, best way to describe it simply is as soon as the plane touches down in Canada, I set that phaser back to stun. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, uh, and I, you know, I've heard a lot of people complain about the drivers in Montreal, and uh, I, I really don't think they're that bad, although I do like the way they play running of the bulls with the pedestrians. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's cute and everything, but uh, for my money, where I live in Los Angeles, LA drivers, they are the worst, boy. They don't signal for anything. It just drives me up a wall. They're on the freeway. Yeah, I, I don't want anybody to know where I'm going. <laughs> Son of a bitch. You know, what's the mystery? I don't care where you're going. I just like to know when, all right? Sometimes I feel like following these people home, you know, just, you know, as soon as they park their car in the driveway, get out with a bat and break their taillights. <laughs> yeah, if you're not gonna can use them, all right. Son of a bitch. Of course, I never do do that because then they go, whoa. <laughs> Stupid me, bring a bat to a gunfight, all right. <laughs> One good thing about the LA drivers, I have to admit, you're the only, only people on the planet that can be driving to work, sipping on a coffee, talking on a cell phone, and returning fire all at 85 miles an hour. <laughs> That's pretty talented in my book, I tell you. My wife and I, we've been in LA for 15 years, we still can't do it. We keep spilling the coffee, oh shit. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> I'll have to phone you back. <laughs> <laughs> Hot coffee all over me. <laughs> Going back to the McDonald's drive through the coffee was too hot. <laughs> Sorry, just trying to fit in. All right. Here's one for later. All right. It's crazy here. But uh, I'll tell you the main difference between Montreal and Los Angeles. In Montreal, you walk into a fast food joint, you see somebody's picture on the wall, you assume it's the employee of the month. Here in Montreal, nine times out of ten, you're right, but. Uh, Los Angeles, it could be the employee of the month or in loving memory of Carlos. <laughs> who was a little slow giving up the cash during the robbery. <laughs> Tough first day on the job for Carlos. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I love that joke, I really do. I love it because there's always a few people in the crowd going, poor Carlos. <laughs> Killed on his first day. That's not a happy joke. <laughs> I just made him up. Some of this stuff really doesn't happen. That's why they call it comedy. Some of this stuff is just me sitting in front of the computer at four in the morning going, that would be funny. All right. Carlos dies on his first day. <laughs> I've got to tell the wife that one. <laughs> Honey, Carlos dies on the first day. <laughs> ah, what do you know? All right. But anyways, it would be funny <laughs> on the first day. <laughs> Five minutes before my first break, this job sucks. I don't want to work here anymore. Stop shooting. Yeah. All I know is if I worked in a fast food joint in LA, the first thing I'd want to know is how do you open up the cash register? We'll get to the inventory in a minute. Where's the button for I don't want to take a bullet for the team? Where's that button? Hmm? The one with the blood on it. Okay, good to know. I'll memorize that one first. 
What would you like, sir? Number one combo, large Coke, coming right up. <laughs> what are you reaching for? Oh, your wallet. All right. <laughs> Sorry, we're all a little edgy since the Carlos incident. And if a guy ever came in with a gun, the first thing I'd do is, hey, the managers in the back office counting the big bills. <laughs> Nothing but chump change up here, my friend. We're all working minimum wage. We will take you to the manager. <laughs> and if he tells you he doesn't know the combination to the safe, he does. <laughs> Follow me, my friend. Oh, you got to pick that up. Yes, I know it's weird. Come on. Man. Larry, customer needs to see you pronto. <laughs> well, Larry's dead. I move up. All righty. I get to wear the good cap now. All righty. You, get a mop. Clean up, Larry. <laughs> That's one thing I've noticed when Carlos dies. There's always a few people. Poor Carlos. But when Larry dies, nobody goes, poor Larry, because he's management, f*** him. All right, fine. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Thank you very much. You've been a great crowd. God bless you. Good night. Always nice.